Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add staff member into your Shopify store and how you can remove the access, how you can suspend or deactivate the staff member and how you can give the full permissions or maybe restrict to certain permissions to your staff member and how you can uh, transfer the ownership of your store. So this is one of the most important thing that in some cases while giving the access to your uh, staff member, you may lose the uh, confidential information by uh, giving the full access or maybe your uh, your ownership would be transferred by mistake so I will be showing you step by step that how you can avoid such type of mistakes and what are the basic things that you have to keep in mind while transferring the ownership so I will be showing you two ways to transfer the ownership to the other person uh, to who you are interested to transfer and other than that I will be covering that how you can uh, how you can uh, add the staff member uh, in a proper way all right so let's get started so first of all you can see that I have uh, logged into my Shopify store the store name is Ramzan test store and on the left bottom corner you will be getting the settings menu you should click on that and here on the right side we have plan and permissions so you need to click on this one and here you will be getting all the information of your login users so currently you are the owner so the store owner name is Muhammad Ramzan and if you are interested to add a staff member so you have uh, two, uh, two ways I mean you have only uh, restricted to two members you can only uh, add two maximum of two members so let me add one member here add staff account so here you need to mention the name for example I am adding here Abdul Bari and then I have to add the email address keywords zero at the rate gmail.com so here you can see that we have the selected checkbox so that means this staff account will have full permissions so to avoid uh, giving the full permissions to your uh, staff uh, uh, staff member you can uncheck and you will be getting these options so currently I am only giving the access of the uh, settings and then after home page and then after themes so these are the three uh, three in uh, three options which I enabled for now so later on if my uh, staff member has required more permissions so I can uh, customize from here uh, as well so let me click on send invite so uh, one thing I wanted to make you clear that whatever permission you are giving from here so that means the specific uh, web page the specific window would be accessible for your staff member all right whatever uh, uh, links are over there whatever uh, input fields are over there so he or she can uh, update those things uh, because you have given the permissions all right so take care of all these things because uh, in that way you can lose certain uh, confidential informations like order gift cards and uh, discount codes so these are and domains so these are the important aspects so you have to keep in mind that these uh, should not be shared with the other person who is uh, taking the uh, control of your uh, Shopify store all right so I have given three uh, things for now so let me click on send invite so the invite would be sent to my uh, staff member so you can see that currently we have store owner is Muhammad Ramzan and staff account is Abdul Bari and invitation has been sent alright limited access so let me go to my another window of the browser and let, let me uh, let me check my email address because I will have yeah this one so from there the invite has been sent to this email address so let me check the email that has been sent from the Shopify so from you uh, by uh, from that information I would able to access that invitation so here you can see that I have the got an email create staff account and here inside of this email we will be getting information related to uh, adding the uh, adding into that uh, Shopify store so Muhammad Ramzan has invited you to access Ramzan test store as a staff member to accept this invitation create a staff account so we need to click on create staff account all right so here you need to log in 
uh, if you have already registered with your uh, Shopify store, for example, you are giving to the access to your staff member and your staff member is not registered with the Shopify, then your staff member needs to uh, register with the Shopify first and then after he could able to access your store. All right. So this is the email address. I am going to click on this one. Since I don't have any, uh, I don't have any registration i have not uh, created any uh, account so let me add here my name first name last name and then after password and i need to confirm the password and then after click on create account So you can see that accept staff invitation for Ramzan test store. So you should click on this button accept invite. So in this way, I will be redirected to I means I am the staff member. So I am uh, going to be getting inside of the Shopify store where I got the access as a staff member. So you can see that on the left hand side, we have all the uh, options disabled by default because I only got the access of whom and online store means themes and then settings all right for say example i have needed the access of products so what i will be uh, going to do here is i will again move uh, to the next tab in where i have the uh, i i am as a uh, as an owner of this store so i have to click on this staff member abdul bari and down below you will be getting some informations like these check boxes and i am going to give the access of products so I have to uh, click on checkbox and then I have to click on save button. And let me move to the uh, staff tab. So here you need to refresh this page. And once you will be refreshing the page, then this products has been enabled now. So that means you are now able to access the products menu as well. All right. So in that way, you can actually give the access to the uh, staff member of a specific thing. All right. So these are the few things. Now, let me go to my uh, ownership. I mean, I am the owner of this one. So you can see that currently uh, I am the owner of this uh, store. I am the store owner and he, the Abdul Bari is the staff member. So for example, you are interested to uh, you are interested to uh, remove this specific owner. So click on Abdul Bari once again, and you can actually deactivate this. I mean, suspend the access. So once you are clicking on suspend the access, click on suspend. And now if you will refresh this page, then you will no more able to access this store. I mean, I am as a uh, currently here, I am as a staff member. So the staff member could not able to access this store. Why? Because uh, I don't have the um, access of uh, store now because the store owner has uh, suspended the access. So for example, I am again reactivating this by clicking on this one. And let me go to the uh, this tab and let me refresh this page. So I refreshed this page and once this is completely refreshed, then you will uh, see that I would able to land to the dashboard. So that means I got the access once again. All right. So this is the way to uh, give the access to your staff member. And last thing is remove Abdul Bari. But for now, I don't want to uh, remove that one because I am interested to transfer the ownership to my staff member. So how I will be doing that is I have two ways. But the first way is that you have just clicked on uh, your uh, staff member. So let me again go to this page. So currently you are the store owner Muhammad Ramzan and Abdul Bari is the staff member. So I am interested to give the access to uh, this staff member as a owner. So I clicked on Abdul Bari and I am interested to make Abdul Bari as a store owner. So make Abdul Bari the store owner. You should click on this button. And here these are three nodes. They will have complete control to the shop, including billing. Your account will turn into a regular st staff account. This action cannot be undone. So you are transferring ownership of your store to Abdul Bari. So I am sure that I am interested to transfer this ownership. So let me add the password here. And then after I need to click on transfer account ownership. 
so now you can see that here I am no more uh, Muhammad Ramzan is no more a store owner Abdul Bari is the store owner currently and Muhammad Ramzan is converted to staff account and this is actually the original uh, store where Muhammad Ramzan was the uh, store owner and Abdul Bari was the store uh, staff member but now the scenario has been changed so let let's see that on this screen what would be uh, the scenario let me refresh this page and you already know that this page was for the staff member and now the staff member is becoming the store owner so let me refresh this page once again so once you will be refreshing this then hopefully Abdul Bari become the store owner and you can see that on the left hand side everything has been enabled so let me check on the settings and on the plan and permissions if you will see on this page you will find out that Abdul Bari is the store owner now and staff member is Muhammad Ramzan all right so this means that uh, we can successfully uh, transfer the ownership of our store owner all right so this was the way and now for say example I am interested to remove this staff owner Muhammad Ramzan and yeah remove this staff member you should click on Muhammad Ramzan and down below I have this uh, we have the suspend access and we also have the remove Muhammad Ramzan so I am interested to remove and everything would be suspended and uh, Ramzan, Muhammad Ramzan would no more able uh, no more be a staff member also so let me click on this one and I will have to password and let me remove this so now you can see that Abdul Bari is the store owner and there is no one in its staff and if you will refresh this page you will find out that this page would not be valid anymore why because Abdul Bari is the store owner now and Muhammad Ramzan has lost the ownership access all right so you can see that this is unable to access Ramzan test store all right so now from Abdul Bari I am interested to transfer the ownership to again Muhammad Ramzan but in a different way so here you can see that transfer ownership we have this link over here so currently let me tell you again you need to go to the plan and permissions and you will have this option here Abdul Bari and here we have the transfer ownership so you should click on this link and here you will have to uh, yeah these are the three things that you have to keep in mind when you are transferring the ownership remove you from the store or change your permissions uh, actually if you are giving the ownership to other person then uh, you will be removed uh, as an owner and you will lose all the permissions view or edit credit card and banking information for example you have added the banking information so while transferring the ownership please please uh, remove all the details because those are uh, personal details and you should uh, not provide those details to other one then pause or close the store maybe uh, you should close the store uh, if you uh, lose the access uh, maybe actually this is not valid point for you why because you are not going to uh, close the store for now all right so let's give the invitation so this was the email address and let's give it the name Muhammad Ramzan or maybe I am uh, giving the uh, different name or maybe I need to mention the name the same name so that you should not be confused and here I need to add the password of my own store and then I need to click on transfer store ownership so finally you can see that uh, here invite sent to this specific email address and you can also cancel the transfer and the transfer is in progress actually so here you have just sent an invitation link to this email address and actually you are agree 
to transfer the ownership to this specific email this specific person so first of all you need to go to that email so here i have this email actually so let me click on gmail you will have received an email from the shopify so yeah this is the email become the become the new store owner of ramzan store so once you are clicking on this specific link then you will see that abdul bari has invited you to become the store owner of ramzan store to accept the, this invitation log in with shopify store id or create a new store so you you should click on get started once you will be clicking on get started then you will get these informations so actually i have this one email address i got this information accept store ownership of ramzan test store so i can add or remove stuff and change the permissions view or edit credit card and banking information pause or close the store so i have i will have full permissions if i have accepted this invite so i have accepted this invite now i am the owner of this store once again so abdul bari has just transferred the ownership to me and now i am i am the owner i means muhammad ramzan and you can see that you are the store owner of ramzan store all right and here you can see that uh, we have plan and permissions and down below muhammad ramzan is again the store owner and abdul bari is now converted as the staff account all right so this is the way uh, through which you can actually add the staff member you can remove the staff member you can uh, transfer the ownerships and you can also close the store from here we have the button close store so finally i end up with uh, giving you the proper information related to uh, the three important aspects that how you can add the staff member how you can remove the staff member how you can transfer the ownership all right so keep in mind that you should avoid the mistake while doing these critical uh, things because these are the critical why because when you are doing any mistake and someone has accepted the invite then you will be in trouble why because you have given the access by yourself and at that moment if someone is doing any changes or maybe doing anything into your store so that means he is the owner he can do anything because you have given the access you have authorized him and that's why he is trying to do all the stuff which uh, he is interested to so if you are new on this channel please subscribe this channel and like this video as well i will be uploading lot of good content on this uh, youtube channel and in this uh, coming days i am going to create uh, 10 free stores i mean using free theme i will be developing the store and i will be giving you the, you the proper training that without uh, hiring any developer how you can develop the store by your own and this would be one of the most interesting series of the videos uh, using different themes and keep watching all these videos because these will be adding value into your uh, business all right so thank you once again see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead